Hey guys, Steve Watch, Beeman Toyota in Nashville uh, on a lovely, lovely, lovely day. Um, there's a reason that I wanted to do this video for you guys on today. Um, we're actually having uh, ice storm warnings tonight here in Nashville. We're having uh, a lot of, um, we had some uh, rain that uh, was some freezing rain last night. So uh, I, was, I know a lot of the country's having snow. Um, it's February when I'm making this video, so if you guys are seeing it later, then uh, um, it could be in the middle of July, and maybe I'm, I'm wrong, right? But as of right now, as time I'm making this video, there is a lot of inclement, inclement weather going on right now. So there was a question that I got a little while ago, and I just wanted to make a video on it to give you guys some uh, information. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you this, this Highlander right here, all right? So here's the question question is what is I'm going to point to it here what is snow mode what does it do and when you should you use it all right so definitely have some answers to those questions and more we're going to have a little bit of fun here all right so I just started this car for one reason one reason only because I'm cold um anyway uh, <laughs> so you have some inclement in, inclement weather. I'm going to stop saying that word just because I want to, and I can't say it anyway. So anyway, I want to show you this over here while we're talking here. That little icon, some people actually have a problem with that icon, and they don't know. Some people think it's a runway. It's not a runway. It's actually it's a little snowflake in front of the road. It means that icing conditions are possible. It is 35 degrees outside and raining, and that is definitely an accurate statement. So back to the the, the thought here so what you'll notice in a lot of all-wheel drive vehicles especially i know it's through different manufacturers um have some type of snow uh button this isn't your traction control this is your traction control button that's the one that you're you're federally mandated to have that traction control all right this one's a downhill assist control um, which actually will help to maintain a speed going downhill um, and a lot of these icons are actually they're they're fairly universal so if you see them you'll know exactly what they are but this button is your snow button now if i hit this button i'm going to turn this right here if i hit this button here you're going to see that green light that just shows up on the top left so right over here all right so you see where it says snow so the question is well what does the snow button do so here here's an easy easy answer guys uh it helps you in the snow that's it um but the how i know the how is what you guys want to know so here's actually what it's going to do it's going to allow the car to start in second gear all right, so a lot of times if uh, if you're from the north like I am, you know that uh, whenever you're in snow or you're in um, slippery conditions, it's better to not start in first gear. It's better to start in second. You, get, you can limit the torque to the wheels that way, you limit wheel spin, whatever you want to call it, um, and it, you're less likely to lose control when you're trying to take off from a parked or, parked or uh, setting um, like a stoplight so, or a stop sign. Um, so if you have the snow button pressed, you're going to start in second gear. Now I had originally thought, and one of the reasons I delayed making this video, that snow button was different on the newer cars because it feels different. If you drive, um, one of the older cars, it feels more pronounced than one of the older cars, which, uh, Marvin, one of our trainers, he actually brought up a really good point. Having an eight speed transmission second gear is not as dramatic as when you have a six speed transmission or a five speed transmission and you're in second gear so it will feel different just because of that but the snow button will make you start in second gear and it's going to tighten your steering wheel to keep you from oversteering the car as well so it's going to try to help to to keep you from going off the road so the snow button is very important for somebody that uh doesn't control the car completely themselves now you can go and you can put it in second gear yourself and you could start driving in second gear and uh if you're confident with all of your abilities then you know you pretty much don't need the snow button it's not going to really help you for everything you're doing but if you don't want to do that and you want to let the car do it put, put the snow button on car will start in second gear and you'll go from there so here's your next question well what happens 
if I'm on the highway and I have the snow button on? Nothing. Not really. I mean, it's, you know, you could get your uh, steering wheel tightened just a little bit. Um, kind of the same way as putting it in sport mode from what I understand. But as for starting in second gear, you're still going to start in second gear, but you're nowhere near second gear on the highway. So um, now if you're in stop and go traffic or something like that, you can leave the snow button on. There, there's nothing that's going to be bad from leaving the snow button on um, if you wanted to have it on in the first place. It's just not going to really affect a whole lot while you're driving in um, traffic or, or, or driving in uh, uh, higher speeds. It will affect it, obviously, in traffic. Um, so when you get to the higher speed, you're not going to uh, really know any different. Um, so that being said, use your snow mode how, obviously, how you want to. Uh, like I said, I'm, I'm a Toyota guy. You know I'm a Toyota guy. But this is over several makes, several models, several different things have uh, a snow button. I've seen a weather button on one car where it said weather uh, or something like that. I, I mean, I, I've seen so many that sometimes you kind of blur them but um there's a uh, snow and ice mode on some car some cars where you can actually uh, you turn a dial or whatever and it goes to snow and ice um and all of it is really doing the same thing it's going to try to keep you from uh, breaking loose the tires from spinning the tires and you know i always tell people it's just kind of like giving the car a heads up and you're gonna say all right it's about to be slippery heads up and you hit that snow button all right so um that's the crust of it really i mean that is your snow button that's what your snow button does and that is i mean there's not really a way to adjust it by the way either so um, you can't make it start in third gear why because you know it, the snow button's not set up that way but if you wanted to say start your car in third gear i, mean, I guess you could try it you know if you really wanted to um, but you're going to have to start going first because you're going to be in a uh, manual mode on the car. And most of them won't let you get above second gear until you're actually moving. So it's just, I mean, I don't, I don't have a better way to describe it, guys. Snow button's for snow. Um, but uh, I know that there's a lot of people out there right now that are in some bad weather. Hopefully this has helped you a little bit to understand a little bit more about what your car can do. Um, I do want to mention one more time that downhill assist control button that I showed you. Um, that you'll manually put it into first gear going down, down a hill. Manually put it into first gear. Hit that button. The car, if it's equipped this way, I know on Toyota it's this way. The car will actually maintain a speed of three miles per hour down that hill. All you need to do is steer. If you hit the gas, the brake, then you're going to override the system and you'll be back in your hands. So um, just like I said, that that's a really cool feature as well. And I'll kind of, I'll pan back over here and show you this. There's your downhill assist control button right there. So, um, and when you hit that, you'll see on your dash as well that you'll get this flashing. And then when you're in your mode, so I'm in drive right now, right? And you can go down, now I'm in manual one, which you can kind of see on the bottom there, manual one. And then it's just going to let you maintain that speed um, going down the going down the uh, hill. And just so you watch too, here, since I'm in downhill assist control mode, I can't change that, right? So, and then the other thing I'll show you too is that this mode, it's on until it's off. So you have to hit this again. This will pop back up. When it pops back up, you see that shuts off so it's either on or it's off right and then um you can go back into drive you can do whatever you want to do of course but um it's just a very very cool system i love helping you guys so if you guys have something else that you guys want me to go over i'm always more than happy to do it so um you guys let me know what you want what you guys want to see i will uh, always try to show you that so um like I said, this is a Highlander. Um, I know that you've got, you know, this is on Highlanders. This is on several vehicles that are out there. New Benz has got it. Um, there's just, there's a lot of vehicles that have that. You're going to notice they're normally all-wheel drive. Um, I'm not sure about other manufacturers, but uh, I can't think off the top of my head of a Toyota that has a snow button in a non-all-wheel drive vehicle. I guess they figured stay home if you don't have all-wheel drive. Um, <laughs> yeah. um, anyway, so... Just showing you guys everything that uh, hopefully you need to know about the snow button. 
Hopefully you guys are being safe out there. If you're watching this, then you're probably about to go out in some weather, so definitely drive safe. Um, and let me know if uh, you guys have anything to add, anything that I missed or anything that you might know in another uh, manufacturer. Uh, I never claimed to know the competition and uh, I'm, I'm pretty smart when it comes to Toyotas, but I never claim to know everything on Toyotas either. So um, definitely if you guys have something to add, feel free to add it in the comments. And uh, um, I usually try to respond to those as well. And if you have any you know, video ideas, definitely uh, reach out to me there too. And if you guys are looking for a vehicle and you're in the Nashville area, um, definitely reach out to me here at the store. I'd love to, to help you guys buy a car. I'd love to be your salesperson and to make sure that you guys have a great experience. So Steve Walsh, Beam and Toyota in Nashville. You guys have a beautiful day because it's not one here. And uh, we will talk to you guys later.